Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, IIT Jam 2018 question papers and my materials. Okay, I will uh, compare between them. And of course, uh, why I am comparing this because I just want to make you convinced that uh, my materials is of course will be enough to crack the IIT Jam examination. Because uh, in the last video, I have discussed about IIT Jam 2019 question paper and my materials my uh, organic and physical materials because inorganic materials are i am making it so it's not fully ready so i'm just considering uh, organic materials and physical materials and in the last video i discussed about uh, uh, that out of 66 marks that is from organic and inorganic okay roughly 60, 66 marks 54 marks came from directly from my materials okay that's amazing actually so now in this video i just want to make you convinced and that's why in this video also i am i will just uh, try to make a uh, similar video not like that i will show you the proof like that or i will show you the uh, where the, you will find that answer or, or whatever like that and i will uh, discuss, show you the question papers and which questions came from my material directly okay directly from my materials and that then i will discuss i will calculate the total number of marks out of 66 marks okay actually i already know how many uh, marks uh, already came but I, I just want to show you okay so without wasting time let's get started and before this if you uh, want to uh, see the last video then you can click this i button okay then uh, you can get that video and for this video just keep watching okay so uh, here uh, it's jam 2018 question paper and it has generally a b c three parts okay so in case of part a for the first 10 questions each uh, question carries one mark okay and the left 20 questions carries two marks okay like that so first i will discuss about part a then part b that contains two marks okay 10 questions over there and then for part c that is uh, in the last 20 questions numerical answer type questions net questions uh, the first question 10 questions contains one marks each and the left uh, 10 questions contain uh, of course two marks each okay so let's talk about the, the first 10 questions from part a section a okay so this is for section a and the first question that is of course from inorganic chemistry that i have already told you that i will not discuss uh, about inorganic chemistry so i am ignoring first one second one the third one the fourth one the fifth one okay this is organic chemistry question but i just want to consider the questions that is directly uh, coming from my material directly from my material okay so it's the it's one of the basic questions so here one of the this is this hydrogen will be acidic and then reaction will occur right like that and the answer will be like this see but this question directly uh, doesn't come from my material directly okay this is the very basic question but directly uh, doesn't come from my material that's why i will not include this question or uh, some questions there will be very easy questions but which suppose suppose that question is not from my material i will not consider that question okay so this question i am not considering then the second question that is also that is present in my questions okay in my material the basic hybridization concept and acidity comparison so this is also uh, directly not coming directly is not coming from from my material so i am not considering this one but this the c2 epimer of d glucose is what will be the answer i am not uh, here i will not give you the answer i am just considering the questions that are coming from my materials directly okay so one question question seven this is coming from my material question nine directly coming from my material so two questions and here the question 10 that is from adsorption that is also coming from my material directly so three questions from uh, part one that is three marks okay part one's first 10 questions okay so that is uh, first 10 questions that is three marks okay we have got three marks out of 10 in the part one's first, first uh, 10 questions next coming to uh, question 11 to 30 from part one that is um, two marks question the first question is inorganic chemistry question the second question is also inorganic physical like physical chemistry like questions okay but it's not coming directly from my material so it's the okay inorganic inorganic okay that's the organic chemistry question so this question i can consider as a uh, as coming from my material because you just have to uh, find the correct order of stability that is this is bz position so you have to know about the bz position that is of course discussed in my material okay so another is uh, question uh, three this is also a carbocation three degrees it's resonance stabilized this is also resonance stabilized like that so you can answer by from the basic levels okay but uh, these basic things uh, you will not find any these basic things from anywhere okay this kind of comparison but you will find this one this one this one and this one in from in my material so rather it's present in my material so i am not considering that question because i am 
explaining you again i will just consider the questions that are directly coming from it from my material di directly coming okay Re remember this one so the, this question is not also like that okay so i am i'm ignoring this question 19 that is directly coming from my materials okay so this is one questions from part b question one this is another question that is also uh, macmurray reaction then uh, just uh, oxidation so this question is coming from material then uh, finally pinnacle pinnacle rearrangement so this is important question that is uh, two questions then this is end addition okay the major product will be end addition this is this is also present in my material so question three three questions then this is also very basic questions but not from directly from my material so this question is very basic this is, that is about carbon stretching frequency just you have to consider resonance like things and then then you can uh, compare this but not com directly not from my material so i am not considering this so here it's uh question 24 this is coming directly from my material okay so this is also coming directly from material question 25 the uh, thermodynamics question question 26 directly coming from material okay then question 27 it's also coming from my material this is physical chemistry uh, questions okay so it's very important and then coming to question 28 coming from my material and 29 is not and finally 30 number question 30 that is also coming from my material directly so from part s uh, next 20 questions 10 questions are coming okay that means 20 marks and from past 10 you have got 3 marks so we have only already got 23 marks directly coming from a material out of 50 so out of 50 you have got already of course out of 50 in the sense of i am considering also inorganic chemistry here but not like that so I am just taking the 23 marks we have got already without considering inorganic chemistry and con considering only my materials okay so that's part one then section b that is multiple select question the first question inorganic chemistry question i am ignoring this the second question is saturated calomel electrode okay so it's directly coming from my material the third question inorganic chemistry question i am ignoring this the fourth question that is also inorganic chemistry question the fifth question that is of course very basic questions but uh, it's not directly uh, coming from a material but it's very easy question so i am not considering this one okay i am telling you uh, again that i will only consider those questions which are directly coming from my material okay so this question 36 that is uh carvin that is this is coming from directly from coming from my material if you read the materials carefully okay this organic chemistry uh, intermediate one intermediate that is about carvin then uh the question 37 that is about halopom test not it's class 12 basics so it's not in the jam syllabus in the uh, direct way okay but uh, indirectly it's present in the jam syllabus like that okay it's in carbonyl uh, chapter but it's in, uh, it's uh, from class 11 12 concept okay so whatever then this is tripeptide okay this is uh, sanger's method that is uh, directly coming from material if you read sanger's method okay correctly then you can easily answer this question okay this is of course present in my material this is uh, Pauli exclusion principle rule so you have to apply that this is also coming from directly from my material then question 40 that is also of course thermodynamic concepts this is also coming directly from my material so from part uh, b only uh, five questions directly coming out of uh, 10 questions so five questions multiplied by two that is 10 marks so 23 marks plus 10 marks we have got 33 marks already so next coming uh, to section c that is one mark questions 41 to 50 the first questions from inorganic chemistry the second questions also inorganic chemistry the third question is organic chemistry but not directly coming from my material the fourth question is of course this question is coming directly from my material so one questions this is cyto one in cytosine base pair the hydrogen number of hydrogen but this is also coming directly from my material uh, second two questions third questions is uh, mathematical uh, numerical answer numerical type questions from chemical kinetics coming directly from my materials fourth questions is thermodynamic concepts this is also directly coming from my materials fifth questions is also uh, uh, important questions that is from nmr spectroscopy that is also directly coming from my material the sixth questions is also from gaseous concept this is also coming from my material and the uh, question number 50 that is also density that is also coming from my material so seven questions coming out of 10 questions from my material so that is seven marks you have got okay so 33 plus 7 that is uh, about 40 marks we have got okay so now let's talk about uh, uh, question uh, 51 to 60 okay so 
the first question not inorganic chemistry question the second question is a chemical kinetics question so it's directly coming from my material and it's two marks so one question the 53 that is inorganic chemistry questions i am ignoring this the fourth question is very basic very class 11s you mean uh, 10 plus 1 that is class 11 level question okay you, 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 you will never solve this question in your graduation level also so it's very basic but i am not considering this it as it's not directly coming from my material it's class 11 concept but i am not considering this one so this is rs nomenclature okay so s configuration you have to find the number of compounds that have uh, s configuration so this is directly coming from materials because if you read my materials you will answer this question you can easily answer this question okay this question um question this is just you have to use one formula and that is in my uh, material so you will answer this question this question also uh, this little bit uh, different but if you read my materials you can answer but not as it's not directly coming from my material so i will not consider this question okay question number 57 i will not consider question number 58 that is about uh, hydrogen molecule questions so it's directly coming from my material it's spectroscopy question okay um, vibrational spectroscopy question number 59 it's also directly coming from my material that is application of emf or electrochemistry uh, this kind of questions and the last question question 60 that is about from uh, bohr's orbit okay and de broglie's uh, you have to consider uh, n lambda equals to 2 pi r okay so this formula you have to use like that so this is also coming directly from my materials so from part c's last 10 questions we have got six questions directly coming from materials that is 12 marks okay so overall marks uh, previously it was 40 and 12 marks that is 52 so from jam 2018 out of 66 marks uh, 52 marks are coming directly from my material okay or not ignore 50, uh, 66 marks just ignoring uh, inorganic chemistry uh, questions we can easily get 52 marks that is enough to get into any iit to get into good iits okay good iits of course i will say i will suggest with without considering the inorganic chemistry materials so or from uh, considering organic and physical chemistry materials it's also i mean uh, possible to crack iit jam okay but i am not suggesting that don't read inorganic chemistry materials like that okay so that's enough that's i am uh, sharing with you that from jam 2019 that i have already showed you in the previous videos that uh, 54 marks coming from uh, organic and physical chemistry okay uh, in case of jam 2018 52 marks are coming from organic and physical chemistry and of course i can show you for uh, jam 2017 2016 and 2015 that i will also show you in my uh, future videos okay so that's why i am telling you because i just want to convince you that if you read my materials you can easily crack iit jam examination okay you just, so you just uh, uh, have to believe me and also one important thing is my material is very cheap cheap in the sense of you should you didn't you should not pay like uh, 15000 20000 like that it's very cheap because uh, you know the reason why i am making these materials i have already told you a lot of times in my previous videos okay so I don't want to tell you again and make you bored. Okay, so just uh, if you need, you can just call me or WhatsApp me in the number you will get in the description below. Okay, so that's all about these videos and thank you. Thanks for watching.